<laughs> being in the natural sunlight, you're being a naughty crocodile. You need to relax. From Ethiopia. And they, ooh, relax, relax. Nice and easy. Do you want some food? I know you're, ooh, I know you're looking at it. Ooh. Well, look at that, yellow anaconda. Oh, did you see that? Whoa, <laughs> there she is. to the swamp boys and girls good morning good morning whoa, 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 whoa. all right all right i'm gonna collect some water lettuce i i could collect this water lettuce right here real close easy to get right next to the bank but why do things easy let me let me make sure my car keys are over there I'm gonna go out here and get the best stuff this is the stuff nobody can get not even the children because the parents are too scared they're gonna get eaten by alligators coming out here for this water lettuce whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, just kidding come on cameraman come on Come along with me. Don't drop my iPhone. That's my whole business. Come on. Wow, look at this. Beautiful area. This would be the time to meet a large American alligator. Look at this. Beautiful habitat right here. Right here in Fort Pierce, Florida. Orlando, psh, put that on the back burner, baby. Come on over to my neck of the woods. This is gonna be great stuff for the Cayman, make them feel nice and comfy. Siamese crocodile will be able to hide. And also, this stuff actually helps make the water a little bit clean. It's kind of like a filter. Oh my goodness, look at this. I like this. I don't even know what this is. I'm taking it. Hey, Justin, while we're on this tree hovering over the water, want me to try my baby gator call and see what comes? <laughs> yeah, probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. Oh, I think there's an alligator right there. All right. <laughs> Boy, you just stay, you just stay there. Don't, oh, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Wow. Oh, it's a little greasy. Let me clean. Don't drop my phone now. Don't mess up, Mr. Justin. <laughs> You're looking beautiful today. Not you, Justin. Damn, get off of me. All right. Whoa, whoa. Just kidding. Prank you. Good old YouTuber trick right there. Start collecting some more, some more swamp salad, as they would say back in Louisiana. Just want to kiss it. Good stuff right there. Wow. Wow, take a look at all this. All right. Let's take this back to the ranch and get on out of here. All right, beautiful people. Let's get this enclosure decorated. We'll take down these little barriers. We have these ropes up because this is an actual display for people to come in and check out animals. We're getting so close to doing tours. Ooh, so exciting. So let's go in here, get these beautiful cougars, dwarves, some nice foliage to hide under. Like I said, this water lettuce highest and this stuff will actually filter the water a little bit too so that's really good and since we're using well water there's gonna be natural bacteria in there that should be good for these plants as well so we're just gonna put it in there let it sit oh it's already looking better oh my goodness look at these plants let's flip that over let the roots drape down there we go wow nothing like some greenery hopefully it doesn't clog my overflow pipe might actually end up doing that but you know what We'll do what's best for these animals to make them feel comfortable. We'll worry about that later. Nice little plant right there. Let's make them feel like they're back in South America. Wow. No plants wasted. I'm actually gonna probably have to go back there to get some more plants because I don't think this is gonna be enough. Maybe a little more, a little sprinkle, a little, a little here, a little bit there. And this stuff will reproduce. So I think that's good for this one. Let's use the rest of this bucket right here and give it to the Siamese crocodile. Still haven't figured out a name, so please comment below. We think we should name this beautiful Siamese crocodile. Critically endangered from Southeast Asia. Only found in Thailand, Cambodia, and man, that's probably about it. Sadly, they used to have a wider range. Now, there's little to no range because they're overhunted for their hides and their meat. Get that nice and secure. Follow me, follow me. Get this one done. Look at her, she's so beautiful. I love this rock so much. What are you doing, baby? How's it going? She so come from this side right here so you can see her beautiful colors. Look how nice she's looking. Her colors have brightened up so much since she's moved out here. Being in the natural. <laughs> Being in the natural sunlight, you're being a naughty crocodile. You need to relax. Oh, <laughs> you cranky girl. Look how clear she looks. Beautiful, crystal clear water. 
probably have to turn up the flow in here so it gets a little more clear. But everything's looking good. They love this stuff. Love hiding under all these plants. This stuff will reproduce like crazy. To the point where she can just camouflage right underneath it and feel right at home in the wild. There we go. Oh, look, she's so cute. What are you doing, Naughty? Oh, don't eat that. That's not food. That's not food, silly. What is she chewing on it down there? She's popping up over here. Make sure all these are flowing upwards. There we go. There we go. What are you doing? She's right here. Look at her. What are you doing? What are you doing, Naughty? I can't wait for her to feel comfortable enough to come and get food from me because once that happens, I'll be able to start training her, having her come to her name, hold on command, and slowly over time, we can try and desensitize her. Check this out. She's right there with her head. Watch this. I'm gonna move the lettuce. Whoa! <laughs> there she is. <laughs> All right, we'll leave her alone. This beautiful girl. Comment below what you think we'll name her or what we should name her. <sighs> She's such a beauty. I also have to make sure that this pipe right here doesn't get clogged up, but also make sure I don't get bit up by my crocodile. What are you doing? Watch this. Oh, gotta watch out in croc territory. Woo, what is going on, beautiful people? I'm taking out Mr. Meatball, the Colette Snake, a beautiful Australian species only found in Queensland, Australia. A beautiful red earthy snake that gets roughly around seven feet long and has an incredible venom. I'm actually putting it in the top 20 most venomous on the planet. And he's a good boy. His name's Meatball because he's red like a meatball and he leaves lots of spicy meatballs. Oh, mama mia, it's like a little, it's like a little parade of, of spicy meatballs in here that are all over the place. I want to do a little bit of maintenance before I start feeding out to some of these snakes. I want to make sure everyone's nice and clean, some clean glass. Also, I got I gotta make sure this place is nice and tight for Dingo and his family, because Dingo Dinkleman and his beautiful family are finally here in America, and they're gonna be here soon to see all the beautiful animals. I can't wait to introduce Kevin the King Cobra to the man, the myth, the legend, Dingo Dinkleman. Yo! All right, let's get this glass out, gonna get it nice and clean, and we're gonna feed some snakes. See you in a bit. Perfection. Oh, yeah! All right, let's put this boy, this little boy back. I'm gonna pop this up with a hook, just in case he's climbing on me. Look at you, boy. Oh, don't get hissy, come here. I remember when I first got him, he was probably just about like two and a half feet long. He was a little baby, and now he's growing up so much. Look at him, what a cool snake. It is said that if you were to get bitten by this snake and you survive the bite, it will take away your sense of smell and taste for five to six years or your whole life. It's pretty crazy, but what's really crazy are those amazing red colorations. I would love to find myself a nice, beautiful female because I believe I've got a male. Let me check. Yeah, there's a big old tail on that. So I'm pretty sure I got a male right here. So if you have a female out there, hit me up. I would love to produce clutch snakes. One of my top favorites. Oh, gotta get this locked. There we go. Nice and secure. All right, let's take out the Ethiopian cobra right here. We're skipping this cage. The Texas indigo actually went back to the owner, Justin, he wanted, to, he wanted to raise it up himself. So I said, you, you take that snake and you, you raise it up yourself, Justin. I'll, I'll just put a cobra in here instead. Oh, big surprise, nine foot boa constrictor being donated. Somebody who didn't have enough space for this animal anymore decided to hit me up and give me a big nine foot boa tame for an educational ambassador. So that's gonna be awesome. We'll give him one of the big vision cages and we'll have something cool for guests to hold that doesn't possess a deadly venom. Let's see, oh, I see you. You're already getting cranky. We just started. All right, I don't have the big hook right now, so I gotta be careful. Let me see, we're gonna try and check. Oh, 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 relax, I don't wanna upset you. I don't wanna upset you, I just wanna grab this right here. Look at that, Ethiopian cobra, basically an Egyptian cobra from Ethiopia. And they, ooh, relax, relax, nice and easy. African snakes are the most dangerous snakes on the planet. Even though they're not the most potent drop for drop, the African, woo -hoo -hoo, out of all the reptiles out there in the world when it comes to venomous, it's gotta be the African snakes that have the most charisma to defend themselves because they come from such a harsh environment where everything wants to eat you. So you gotta be a little bit cantankerous to survive out in the land of Africa. Woo, come on. 
All right, Cranky, I'm gonna have to get you in safely in a second. Okay, don't bite me in the crotch now. You're gonna go in the can yourself? Huh? You gonna go in your can? I hear you, I hear you. I hear you, just gonna gently grab this thick girl. Skittles, woo! Come on, Skittles, nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna clean this enclosure. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're good to go. Nice clean enclosure. We got some food right here for the beautiful little Skittles. She's, mm, mm, mm. She's a little sour pet kid, if you know what I mean. She sour sweet gone after she bites you. All right, let's get this open. <laughs> That's why I use a tool to open up the can because you never know when there's gonna be a cranky cover right there at the lip. What are you doing? Oh, you okay? Let me just hook you. Beautiful little girl. Oh, you're going to go, you're going to go that way. That's going to make it difficult. That's going to make it very difficult. Going into the handle like that. Come here. Come here. Just got to tickle her out a little bit. Get her tail out of that handle. Come on. Come on. Nice and tickle. Nice and easy. All right. There we go. Big girl. What are you doing? Uh oh. All right. Let's get her right into the enclosure. There we go. Let's go home. We'll put a little rat in there so she's nice and happy. Got my new my new feeding tongs. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Just got that at the Coral Palooza Expo over in Orlando. Thank you very much, Victor, for inviting Tyler and I out. Ooh, you want some of this? Ooh, you want a rat? Huh? You want a rat? Want a rat? Oh, there you go. She just bit it. Let go. She can eat that later. Let's get this locked and secure. And then we've got the Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes. Got some rats right here for them. My babies that I've been raising up from little worms. You want some food? Huh? I know you're, Oh, I know you're looking at it. Woo! Oh, dropped a little pinky in there. That's not supposed to be in there. And we got another rat right here. We'll give it to the female. We'll have to go to the other side. She's right here hanging out. Let's see, you hungry? Oh, nearly got my hand. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Come on. There we go. Nice little rat. Get that closed, nice and secure. Biggest rattlesnake on the planet, able to go over eight feet long. A beast of a rattlesnake. Nice and secure. And we can't forget about Mick, the yellow anaconda. He is a good looking man and he's hungry. Let's see, you want some food? I got a good size rat right here. Ooh, you want this Mick? You want this Mick? They love to feed, oh! Feed in the water, but no chance, no dice. Let's see, this guy's getting big. Let me show you guys exactly how big. He's getting, look at him. Ooh, look how big he is now. Holy smokes. You guys remember when I got this guy? He was a little worm. Oh, I remember when I used to keep him in like a little five gallon lock top enclosure. Now he's become a little beast. Ooh, he's probably about like five plus feet long. Big, growing up little man. He's not that big. Eventually he'll be a good size. But look at that, yellow anaconda. Oh, did you see that? He's bit it more. I love you. All right. Let me get you in the water dish. Yellow anacondas are typically not <laughs> the friendliest snakes to handle. So even though they're non-venomous, no guests are gonna be handling those snakes. And we can't forget about Meatball, my, my young son. What are you doing, Meatball? You climbing around? Want a rat? Want a rat, Meatball? Come on. Woo-hoo, oh, don't bite that. Oh my goodness, watch out, dude. Come on, look, that's for you. Ooh, look at his belly. Oh my goodness, look at his belly. Holy smokes, he's beautiful. I'm really liking these feeding tongs. Brighten up my day. Come on, get in there. You little, you little vampire, bring your prey up on top like that. All right, get this nice and secure. All right, let's feed the eyelash viper. We got this beautiful setup. This is the only eyelash viper I have that actually eats frozen thawed rodents. Let's give him some food. Let's see, you want some food? Come on, come on. Look at him, he is so beautiful. A gorgeous golden eyelash viper. Come on, I know you want it. I, oh, I know you want it. I know you want it. Go, oh, look at that. He is such a beautiful dragon of a snake. I've got a buddy, Paul Miller. Big shout out to Paul Miller. Always gets in the coolest venomous reptiles. He has red ones, he's got neon yellow ones. He has different varieties of just the color yellow. So maybe later this year, 
I'll go pick up some of my wish list eyelash vipers and get some in here. Maybe get an orange one, a red one, make a beautiful array of eyelash vipers for kids to spot out in the enclosures. We're definitely gonna get a bigger bioactive setup later this year. So lots to look forward to. Now we're gonna feed my babies, the Gila monsters, give them some rat paints, you want some protein? Huh? Come on, you know you want that. You know you want that. Oh, there we go, there we go. Would your girlfriend like a little bit? Come on, little mouse fuzzy. Gila monsters are from the southwestern United States. These guys love to eat quail eggs, chicks out of, out of nests, ground nesting birds. They love to eat rats, pack rats, mice, all that good stuff. So pinkies and quail eggs are the go-to food for these venomous little lizards. Come on, have a bite, have a bite. There you go, chomp down, put some bellies on you. Look at this guy, oh, look at his teeth. They have such long teeth and you don't want to take a nick. You get one tooth in you and those bottom jaws will administer a nasty venom that won't kill you, but will make you want to be dead because it does not feel good to go through that bite. Ooh, my little monsters, I love you. Mm, I want to give you a kiss. Ooh. Is that good? Look at this big bulbous head. He's such a cutie. And not just are these guys eating, we actually got Alice and the Black Mamba to eat last week. Haven't shared the footage yet. Great news, because obviously she didn't eat for a while when she was grabbing. So check out this clip of her taking down some food. She didn't eat the food after she dumped her eggs. And then today, when I took out the rats she didn't eat, I saw she had one last little infernal egg right there. So I'm gonna offer her a rat and see if she's hungry, because she's been acting like she's interested. Let's see, gotta be careful. Gotta keep my Definitely, oh yeah, yeah, look at that, holy smokes. You want that right there for you. And then check this out, I got another one right here. No worries, look at you. You've got quite a strike on you. All right, we're gonna get you to back up a little bit, okay? Back up just a little bit, right there. And right there, get this secure. Oh, she is so hungry. She hasn't eaten in over a month. And after dropping all those ova, those infertile eggs, she's got to rebuild her energy. She puts so much energy into producing those. Hopefully, one day, all that energy will contribute to something awesome, like a bunch of baby black mambas. Because little Kobe Dinkleman, my other black mamba, my male, for her, he's getting huge. Ooh, look at this black mamba. She is just the coolest. Oh, you dropped your food. Oh my goodness. Here, you got more coming. Keep it going, keep it going. Woo -hoo -hoo. Don't bite the tongs. Oh. Good thing is these guys have wax tips, so they're not gonna bite down straight onto that metal. Great, instead of using straight up metal. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna feed Jack, my favorite boy. We got a little mouse fuzzy right here. Get him going, Jack, Jack, come on, Jack, Jack. Woo, come on, Jack, come on, come on, come on. Give me a little leap, give me a little leap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Good boy, good boy. Come on, come on, woo, come on. Get you on a little run, get you on a little run. Come on, woo. I know these new feeding tongs are a little trippy looking. You're not used to them but they work great. Let's see, let's see, you want an egg too? Ooh, I got some good looking quail eggs right here. You want a quail egg? Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is, I was like, where'd that egg go? You just swallowed it, no problem. You are such a beautiful boy. Oh, don't give me a whip, that's rude. Ooh. All right, beautiful people, I guess this is gonna be it. Comment below what you wanna see next. Comment below what I should name that Siamese crocodile. I am open to names. I love to get some cool Thai name or Cambodian name. Look, my lizard's trained to go right back to his enclosure. What a good boy. Anyways, beautiful people, I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams and stay passionate about what you guys love. Because in the end, that's all that matters. Love you guys.
gotta watch out in crock territory. 